Hi there, hope you're having a good day. Welcome back to another video. Uh, we got a new budget shoe today, and a decent one too. This is the Adidas Trey Unlimited 2. So as you can tell from the name, this is the Trey Young budget shoe, 90 bucks. A lot of similarities to his main signature shoe, the Trey Young 3 actually. And that can be either good or bad. Like from my experience, these guys are also diagnosed with some minor heel slippage. The league as a whole seems to just not buy into the ice tray hype anymore. 27 points, 11 Trae assists Young, per game, obviously. and not even making the all-star reserves is kind of wild. From the Trae Young 3, they all of a sudden changed the logo too. So the design just became simple and straightforward. On the Trae Young Limited 2, they also made it basically a low top instead of the mid top on the first version. Plenty of nice colorways coming up. Anyways, we'll jump right into the key things to know about these guys. And if you're wondering how they compare against uh, let's say the Dame Certified 2, I'll give you an answer on that as well. Performance wise, cushion and comfort are the good parts on these. Good stepping comfort, but I don't think we can trust Adidas official product description anymore because it says this is light strike cushion without mentioning anything else. But this feels like partially composite foam, uh, like the Trae Young 3. I mean, that part you can clearly tell, right? And bounce because the heel cushioning feels exactly like the first Trail Limited. Who knows, maybe they'll end up correcting it later on. But what's important is that it feels quite nice and soft on feet. Cushion alone, it's better than the Dame Certified. Impact protection is sufficient. Unlike most of the Trae Young shoes, these are not too heavy. 425 grams for size 10 and a half. That puts them at right about average weight. The traction pattern looks to be a safe one. Mostly herringbone with some pods on there. That never really goes wrong on an Adidas basketball shoe, but it's not the type of grip that you're used to. Like the rubber is not squeaky at all, uh, but it does create a lot of friction against the floor. So you do get a nice break to stop well, just might not sound like it. I don't think these are the most ideal option for outdoor use, given how the rubber feels in hand as I run my finger across it. But I haven't used it outside yet, so can't comment too much on the durability. Playing in these, I had no issues, or slipping even on a very dusty court. So traction is fine, just not elite, and there's also zero squeak to it. I know for some people that is a turn down, but it is what it is, as long as it works. With the fit, I would recommend most people to go true to size. If you have narrow and slim feet, you might need that half size down in these. Trae Young 3, I think half size down is a must, given the amount of hill slippage back there. These guys had a little bit of hill slippage for me, but it was manageable. Very nice padding on the interior for a shoe at this price range. Nice and plush around the ankle area, and also very wifeful friendly. Trae Young shoes have generally been forgiving enough in terms of width, and these are no exception. For those looking for a budget shoe with a spacious toe box fit, here you go. One thing I noticed from my experience is that the upper material can really start to break in. Uh, it becomes more and more flexible over time, but the leather plus textile combination is pretty sturdy to begin with, so stability is still good to go. No containment issues, uh, lateral movements either, thanks to that flat shape. Lockdown in general is not going to be as good as the Dame Certified 2, however. Overall, I think this is a decent budget option. But again, if you're patient enough, you can probably grab a pair on sale later on. It copies some good features from its big brother, the Trae Young 3, but it's also not very sharp in terms of lockdown, for example. Maybe more importantly, against the Dame Certified 2, these have better cushion and comfort, but worse traction at lockdown. So there is a trade-off. If I have to pick one myself, I probably take the Dame Certified 2 over these. But let me know how you feel about the new Trae Young budget shoe down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.